spirit that begets the flesh. Praise the Lord Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, what time is it? Praise God. Let's go to Revelation 1 and verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Remember last week I told you when we read um, Isaiah 9, verse 6, praise God. You remember what it says? For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. And I told you that I'll show you where he is not only the mighty God, but he is also, he is the all-powerful. There is no other God but Jesus. Praise God. I'm going to go to the last scripture. St. John 3, verse 13. And Sister Sarah is going to give me another session next week. Absolutely. And we will go into baptism. Amen. Praise God. I have to land the ship. Yes, yes, I sir. I can't leave it in the middle of the water. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. St. John chapter 13. Chapter no, three, chapter verse 3, 13. verse 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Praise God. Where was he when he was speaking? Mm -hmm. He was on earth. Praise God. The, yeah. The body was here, but the spirit was everywhere. Praise God. Even the Son of Man, which is currently, presently in heaven. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to stop here because I, I promise that, um, you know, there, there's going to be, I, I think, uh, you know, you might have uh, questions. And I want to leave some time for us to answer. Praise God. So I'm going to stop here. Um, Sister Sarah says she's going she's gonna to give me another session next week. And so next week we will go into baptism. Praise God. Because we have now established from scriptures. Jesus said, believe on me as the scripture had said. And last week we established that even in the Old Testament, there is one God. Praise God. Praise God. He manifested um, different ways. He came down on the mountain and he spoke to Israel. Praise God. There was, we spoke about Theophany. So God appeared um, as an angel. And we, we spoke about all that. Tonight, praise God, we spoke about how he came in the world. How the water becomes the ice. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. And oh, we have only one God, and his name is Jesus. And next week, we're going to study, oh, because we know that it's one God, and we know that his name is one, we're going to study why we baptize in Jesus' name. Praise God. Is there any questions? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that if somebody has a Trinitarian belief rather than a monotheistic belief, that they are not going to heaven. So, the, the scripture says, right? Jesus said, believe on me as the scripture had said. Praise God. And the, the scripture tells us plainly that the way to God is through the door. Jesus said, I am the door. Praise God. By me, if any man enter in, they shall go in and out and find. So if, if the scripture said, um, if the manual said, this is the way to heaven, that's what I believe. Praise God. I'm not condemning anyone, but this is how I believe. Praise God. And um, Trinitarian belief is different, praise God. I believe in monotheism. I believe that 
baptism, in, and we will go into that next week, is the only way to be saved. The Bible said there's um, Acts chapter 4, 12, and we'll go into that next week. There's no other name under heaven given among men, whereby. And if the Bible said there's no other name, then there's no other name. And Paul said, if an angel from heaven, even an angel, come and preach any other gospel. And so I believe in the monotheistic gospel. I believe that there is only one way to God. And I believe that if we don't follow the way that he has prescribed, believe on me as the scripture has said, I think, um, I believe that then we are lost. That's my belief. Praise God. Bishop, Bob, Pastor. That's my belief. How about Nicodemus? It says, except a man be born of the water and the spirit, they cannot enter the kingdom of God. So it's not necessarily you condemning that person. It's what the Bible says, like you said. You don't believe it in me as a scripture said you know so it's what the bible said we're not telling people that you're gonna be lost or you know we're just preaching the gospel that we know it you know preach it as the bible says so um the other part of that uh what sister maxine says is that you're going to deal with the baptism, like you said, next week. But um, it's actually a twofold, the oneness of God. Like you got people that believe that Jesus is God, but they still won't baptize in Jesus' name. Crazy. You know, you got people like that. They're, it's not that they don't believe in the oneness of God, but they believe because Jesus made that commission in Matthew twenty-eight nineteen. That unless you do it that way, you're doing it wrong. So they refuse to be baptized in Jesus' name. Praise God. And, um, you know, in, in St. Mark chapter 16, Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But it, it never tells you how to be baptized. So, you know, you have to follow the scriptures here a little, there a little. He that believeth and is baptized, right? So you believe and you're baptized. Praise God, Brother Melvin. So <clears throat> as a person who, I was a Trinitarian, as you know, but what I come to understand is that St. Matthew 28 and 19, go ye therefore teach our nation, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Jesus was actually talking to the disciples. And the disciples knew that Jesus Christ was Lord. But you can't just read St. Matthew 28 and 19 to get the, you have to read the entire scripture from he was on his way when he met up with Mary and Martha. You have to read the entire thing to get the full understanding. Because they didn't have to ask, why should we baptize like that? Because they knew that Jesus was the Father, he was the Son, and he's the Holy Ghost. The disciple knew, and that was a statement just to the disciples. It, it was not a general statement to the public. He was talking to the disciples who knew he was. Right. They, they knew who he was because they were, with, they were there with, uh, where Thomas was, right? When Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Praise God, Bishop. I understand what Deacon is saying here. But we must understand that's the only scripture that the Trinitarian have to back up their baptism in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. If you search the Bible, search through the New Testament, there is not one instance where anybody was baptized any other way but in the name of Jesus. So, if they refuse to baptize in Jesus' name, it means that that's the only scripture that they have 
as a platform Praise God. to establish what they're doing. And, then, and next week I'll bring this out, right? Because um, uh, Matthew was just one account of what Jesus says, right? Matthew said, um, Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. But Luke said, and we went to Luke 24, 45, Then open ye their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it will Christ to die and to suffer. And that first thing, repentance, and then what? Remission of sins should be preached in his name among when you when you analyze the word all, you tell me what is left. All nations. Beginning where? And so we will go to those scriptures um, next week. Sister Maxine, sorry, did, did we un um, answer your question? Sorry. We did. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Sorry, I didn't remember to. We get a little bit carried away there. Praise God. Was there any more um, questions? You don't have any questions, Sister Alicia? Sorry, just, just really yours. quick. I'm going to give you this book after next week. I'm going to give you this book as a gift. Very nice book. Praise God. Yes, sir. Um, just quickly, uh, can you, in a nutshell, review how you said that Jesus never called Mary his mother? And then, so then what are we to refer to Mary as? Not the mother of Jesus or in a different aspect or... Mary was a vessel, you know. Jesus never called her his mother. She was a, a vessel, right? The Bible said that um, um, God would prepare a body, a vessel. Praise God. Because, um, you know, if you put the water here, here in the, in the, in the building, in a container, and you leave it here, it's not going to freeze, right? Because it can't, you know, produce in this heat that temperature that it wants, that it needs to turn it into solid. solid. Sorry. Praise God. Even so, um, we know about reproduction. Praise God. I don't know. <laughs> There's so much things going on though. But as far as I know, women, uh, you know, reproduce kids. Our sons and daughters. You know, it's funny because there's so much things going on, you don't know what some of these things that people do. So Ma Mary was a vessel. You know, he, she was just a vessel in which God would come in the world, right? The spirit would enter and it would go through whatever process. I mean, the ladies get that more about that, the process that it goes through for that nine months, Pastor, right? And then it would be born. So Mary was not really his mother. Because you have to remember that. Um, Mary was a vessel. Was a vessel. Yeah. Mary was not his. Mary was not his. Like his, his real mother. She was just a vessel in which God came in the world. Right. Remember, remember Sister Maxine that. The Bible said before they came together. They didn't have you know, any intercourse, right? And I, I don't know of, you know, they have some injection that they can do now. But a woman cannot just get pregnant just like that, right? She has to have some form of intercourse, you know, so, right? So Mary was just a vessel in which... Vessel. I'm loud enough, I <laughs> the meaning that Jesus could have come into the world through any female vessel. Exactly. Not necessarily. Okay, I think that clarification needs yes. to be made because, yes. yes, he did come through Mary, therefore she was his biological mother. <laughs> Just a question. No, 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 no. The, 
the question that I would like to ask, when a man and a woman come together, right, and they decide to make a child, but somebody, another woman is going to carry this child, so the sperm of the man and the woman is injected into a different woman. The woman who gives birth, is she the mother of that child? That's what Mary was. That's exactly what Mary was. That's, he just literally borrowed her womb because she was a holy woman. But she was not his mom. Because the scripture says God is not the author of confusion. And God is a spirit. Can you imagine somebody giving birth to a spirit baby? That's just confusion. <laughs> She, <laughs> thank you, my sister. She, um, yeah, though she gave birth to him, you're saying she was not. Anyway, I, I understand what you're saying, but Mary was the one that nursed the baby, and Mary's the one that dragged it around town, and Mary's the one that said, look, where are you at 12 years old, and had to run back for him. So to, to not call her his mother is odd. He never. She, yeah. She may woman. not have been. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Is there any more questions? And we will go into baptism next week. Um, you know, it's, it's a very interesting topic, and I think this should be taught. Yes, sir. I wonder if this is the reason why the Bible is silent. On Jesus' upbringing from a baby till age 12. He didn't say very much because that's the point where the mother would be more interacting with the baby. Right. And I think the scripture was more focused on portraying Jesus as God or the God man rather than being a merry little boy. Exactly. Because even, even on that, 12-year-old trip that they went to Jerusalem and came back and he was lost, he said to Mary, don't you know that I must be about his father's business? It <laughs> right? Mary kept... <laughs> because he, he, he was more focused and what he came to her to do, right? Praise God. So Mary was just a vessel. I got it. Remember when Jesus was on the cross and said, Woman, son, woman behold thy son, son, Always behold thy woman. mother. Hmm. You know, so he always called her respectfully, like woman, because that's, you know, it wasn't be like us women, you know, he said it in a very respectful way. To yes. his mother, to you know, we obviously say that he was mother, so we would say his mother, but we don't have the understanding to understand that, you know, who she was. Even if we call her his, his mother, we realize the whole explanation. Of you know, it. Sister Maxine, you know why you would run into issues? Because if you say Mary is his mother, then you're gonna run into an issue where. He, Mary was before him, right? But Jesus was really before Mary. He was before Abraham, you know, before Abraham was I am. And so um, if Mary was his mother, then his beginning, his sonship started there. Yeah, but um, he was before, right? He, was, he, he said he was before Abraham. So if you try to, um, you know, say that Mary was his mother, like my mother was born before me, or my father, you know, or your mother was born before you, then it, it's like you're making, you, you know, you're looking on just his sonship then, on the sonship, but not on the deity, right? Praise God. Or to me, to make the sonship complete, it, 
it makes sense that he has to come through a woman. And so that's, I think, I think, I guess my only point is that sometimes we can break this down to the letter to the point where um, we not dilute, we divert some of the natural, actual happenings. I understand exactly what Brother Milton said about surrogate parents, but uh, what I, I do, um, like it's important for people to know that Jesus was born into human flesh. So when he was nailed to a cross, blood came out. Like he was human. Um, I'm not saying that Joseph was his father, but I believe that Mary was the mother. He came through her. And so, it, you know, every now and then I hear mm -hmm. things that I haven't heard before and I go, what? Of yeah. course he was. He had a mother, you know. So um, I think that's all I was reacting to.